So, stuff is expensive now. Like external monitors, not external, but even like any display can be quite pricey. And it's not just about the price, it's also about avail availability. And you might have something like this already. It's the Apple, uh, that's not convenient at all. It's the Apple Cinema HD displays. And I used to rock these. I know that these were kind of nice. It's super duper easy. Set it up again. You can hook it up through the Thunderbolt on your Mac Mini or your MacBook Pros or Airs, whatever, anything. It's just one single dongle and I'm gonna show you how it's all set up so you can use that yourself. I use it as a secondary screen now and that works really well. If you disregard pixels. This 20 inch Cinema HD display has a resolution of 1680 by 1050. This is the spaghetti chaos called cables. The signal is carried through this DVI cable and this brick ties the power and the display together. Now it's time to plug the power into the brick first. Like that. And then you need to plug the USB-C looking cable into the other available port to make sure it connects to the display. Now here's the first dongle. I say first because we will look at two ways to hook this up. This is a DVI to USB-C Thunderbolt cable. You can see that it has a female connection to match the DVI of the Apple display. Now let's plug them together. It's screwing cables together is also vintage. And finally, plug the other end into an available Thunderbolt port. And of course, turn on the display. Now, I mentioned I wanted to show you two ways to do this. As you can see, now this steals one of my Thunderbolt ports. I need both ports to plug in my main display and my Acasis 10-in-1 hub. Therefore, I started looking for more options. So let's plug in my main display and treat all ports as taken. Now what? The hub has an HDMI port we can use to hook up our display. But to be able to do this, we need another dongle. If you're an Apple user, you're used to dongles by now anyways. So let's connect the HDMI cable to both the dongle and the hub. Finally, we need to connect this to the Cinema Display DVI, just like we did with the other dongle. And we should be good to go. Now, do note that I've experienced the HDMI solution to be way more unstable. So if you have an available Thunderbolt port, go ahead and use that instead. It's nice to know though that there are several ways to set this up. Hopefully you'll find a solution that works for you. I'll leave links in the description below. And there are often no-name brands, so I can't find the exact ones I used, but I'll try to find some good alternatives. All right, I hope that I can save you some time and money. I don't know how it would save you time, probably take you more time because you would have to go on eBay or somewhere else to actually buy the, the display. But setting it up is just like an extra 10 to $30. So I hope that these displays will get some new homes.